Hey there. Hey there, hi there, ho there. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Oh, so glad I know Jesus. I'm so glad that I'm not trying to perform so that he will finally accept me. I'm so glad I'm not trying to perform so that someday I will become holy. You know that holiness is a position that we have because we're in Christ? See, we were in Adam. And when we were in Adam, we weren't holy. And matter of fact, the fruit that came out of us was not holiness. But see, when you're a Christian, your holiness is not something you earn. It's not something you keep because you keep doing the right things. No, holiness is a position. And because we have been born again and we are new creations, we're new creations born again in Jesus Christ. It is His holiness and righteousness that we have and that we possess and that we own. And I'm so surprised that so many Christians, or at least that's what they, they say they are, they don't know the first thing about the gospel. They still don't know what Jesus did. They still think it's all by their works, by their blood, their sweat and tears. They don't know the scriptures. They can be from a family of pastors. They can be going to church all their life. They can be telling other people about the Bible. And they still don't know Jesus and what he did for them. Uh, that, that's pretty serious, I have to say. <clears throat> pretty seriously sad because Christ did everything. If you're in Christ, you're no longer the old creation. Can you read scriptures? Can you read the Bible? 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 2 Corinthians 5, 21. We're new creations in Christ Jesus. And see, we have the righteousness of God in Christ. That makes us holy, saints of God. He says, be ye holy, for I am holy. He's not saying try to act like you're holy. He's saying be it because you are it. See, Christians don't know who they are, therefore they can't act out who they are. They keep thinking that they're trying to become more and more sanctified and set apart. Listen, when you were sanctified, you were set apart for God. It was instantaneous. It's not something that's going to happen continuously. And then there's a sanctification where you're going to sanctify your behavior. And your behavior will change as you know your identity in Christ. But it's really time for these people that call themselves Christians to find out more about what Christ did for them and not to be so caught up with their flesh. They are so flesh oriented. All they see is what they do. They haven't seen what Jesus did. Sad, very, very sad. But the freedom comes in knowing the truth and the truth will set you free. If you don't know the truth, then you're gonna get caught up with stupidity of thinking that your holiness has to do with tithing or that your holiness has to do with how many times you go to the assembly of believers or how many times you read your Bible. Have you taken time with God today? You know, <laughs> what a bunch of baloney. We can't take time without God. We're in God all the time. See, people don't know that they're actually hooked up to God. They don't know that Jesus did anything. They're still thinking they have to do it, that they have to perform and that they have to be doers of the word, not merely hear us. A doer of the word is one who believes God's word, that they are saved by grace through faith. It's not of yourself. It's a gift. Quit trying to make holiness something you work for. That is absolute false teaching. Quit trying to make holiness like, oh, if I don't tithe and if I don't go out and preach the gospel, then I'm not holy. No. Tithing isn't even in the New Testament. It's only Jesus talking to the scribes and Pharisees, telling them, hey, you've done this and that, but you should have continued and you tithe mint and anum, anise, you know, liquor sheets and stuff. But you should have kept to the... See, he's not saying, Christians, you should do this too. He's saying, you law keepers, you do this and you do that. You should keep it all. If you're going to stay by the law and you mess up in one thing, you've fallen. You blew it. So I don't care how long somebody's in the, in the faith or who their teachers are and such. It's what comes out of their mouth and their writings. These people don't know Jesus. I'm so surprised because there's been another Jesus preached for a long time. One that's all about your faith and not about believing in Jesus's work. So it's not our faith in producing. It's in Christ and what he has produced. And in him we are complete. You read the scriptures? In him we're complete. In him. He says, as he is, so are we in this world. Are you in this world? How is Jesus? 
Jesus is fine, man. He's okay. He's accepted. So are we. We're accepted in the beloved. Who's the beloved? Jesus Christ. Who are we accepted in? Christ. Are we accepted in ourselves? No. Ourselves does not produce holiness. It does not produce righteousness. It does not produce some sort of glorification. Matter of fact, that's all man's demonic teachings saying that you have to add something to what Christ Jesus did in order to be saved. That is just a lie, and that's what's uh, sweeping the earth. And it's, uh, it's not contextual biblical principles. That's what we need. Let's learn the entire Old and New Testament. Then let's focus on the New Testament, because we're New Testament Christians. We're not Jews of the Old Testament. We're from Judah. The only Jews came from Judah, by the way. <clears throat> we're not Israelites of the flesh. We're Israelites of the Spirit. We have believed and been circumcised in our heart, not in the flesh. Put your confidence in what Christ did, not in what you do, are going to do, or you think you have to do. Find out what the Bible says. Very important to read the scriptures. If you're going to teach the scriptures, learn the gospel message. Jesus did it all. Add nothing to it. Just loving him. I'm so free. I'm not bogged down with any of that religious terror that comes upon people to try to perform to make God happy. He's so happy with you if you believe in Jesus. He is over the moon. He's given you his grace. And for eternity, we live as saints of God, holy, accepted, and the beloved. None of your doing will make you holy. If you think it does, you missed it. Get saved and be holy by gift.